Hi, it's Bronwyn from RAP, and in this video, I want to introduce you to ring modulation. Now, ring modulation isn't just for those who produce industrial tracks. It's also really useful for creating a rougher, harder edge to a track. A ring modulator will modify the sound's frequency content and add additional harmonics and overtones. They typically pick out and enhance brighter, clangy frequencies, so the result is an edgier sound. Okay, so the ring modulator works by modulating your sound source, either by using an internal oscillator or via a side chain from another source or another sound in your mix. Now the sound that you get particularly if you set the internal oscillator to a high frequency is bright and nice resonant overtones. So we're going to give it a go on this track here from Seven Sounds, Emo, Chill and Trap. It's available at rloops.com. All right, let's have a quick listen to the track. Yeah, it's really cool, but I'm going to spice up the snare just a little bit, so I'm going to solo it. I've already inserted the ring modulator called Ring Shifter in Logic Pro, and uh, let's just have a listen to that track in solo first, and we're bypassing the ring shifter, so let's have a listen. All right, that's nice. But now let's choose a preset from the factory menu. And I'm just going to choose a drum loop ring. Let's have a look, see what it sounds like. Oh, nice. You can hear the slightly enhanced brighter sound and the built-in delay makes the brighter hits a little bit more resonant as well. All right, let's uh, try a different preset. Uh, let's go and have a look at Groove Shadow. All right, let's have a listen. Okay, cool. Here we have a nice clock to tempo movement and some really nice overtones. Now, if uh, we play around with the dry, wet mix knob, the amount of effect will change. Let's have a listen. We can actually automate it so it uh, changes throughout the song. So let's uh, do that quickly. I'm going to put it into right mode and uh, here we go. All right, we've got a pretty cool sound happening, but now if we play around with the frequency knob over here, we can get some really interesting harmonic results. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's really cool. So let's add it into the track, um, into the rest of the mix for context. And if you need a nice edgy sound, a bit of movement and some clangy overtones, then I suggest that you use a ring modulator. If the overtones are a little bit too resonant, you can always use an EQ to tidy them up. I hope you've been inspired a little bit and that you'll go and try out some ring modulators in some of your tracks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video.